first shoot of the year. For me, this is hopefully my last project as a real estate videographer. I had about a four-year career covering real estate photos, video, drone. I built that business from the ground up and have recently transitioned to corporate work, which I am enjoying much more. And this is the last client that I have uh, given away. So doing one video for them just to market their services, not exactly shooting a house. And then I will be officially done with real estate. So this is actually a rescheduled shoot. First one was postponed from weather. I was gonna have our talent deliver her stand up on the far side of the pool, but I'm not liking all the shadows from the sun. So instead we're bringing it back inside the shade under the pavilion and blasting her with light and uh, having a much better, much better look. After using the DJI RS3 Pro in the Bahamas for a rental, I decided to pick it up myself and I was planning on using it today. It did not work. I'm not sure what is wrong. Um, it had to keep recalibrating. It kept shaking. Eventually I wasted enough time with it that I just moved it over onto sticks and called it a day, but I do need to figure out what that problem is because it should be able to hold the C70. So. I had the 18 to 35 on the C70 and um, front lighting with a couple different lights. You can see it, there was the uh, Aperture Amaran 200X. There was a 60D and another light panel. Basically, all the light I could get to combat the harsh shadows. Had to use, I think, uh, four stops of ND. I can't see on the screen. And having that zoom range is really nice. Uh, switching between, I think it was around 20 mil and then moved into 35. Two completely different looks. I really, really do like this lens on the C70. I think it's pretty much a perfect matchup. And then after that, we did a wardrobe change, switched to the 85 mil. Much different look. This is a cheap 85 1.8 but it looks fantastic. And a typical stand-up, uh, which is a news ENG term. And then go back inside, record some voiceover. And it's a very, very simple video. Throughout Brevard County, Florida. There are an abundance of waterways in addition to the ocean. Little update on the EVF situation. So you guys know from a previous video, I want to mimic the Sony LCD attachment. I have a couple of B&H parts on the way, but I love how the Sony can tilt, it can pan and lock in, and it just has the best articulation that I've ever seen on any OEM accessory. I would like to do that with the small HD 502 Bright um, because it's bigger, brighter, and overall sharper, easier to see, easier, easier to utilize. Um, so I'm going to be using a 15 mil rod and NATO rail setup. Uh, pretty excited to show you guys that it will not maintain the full debility, um, but it can just release from the NATO. That's on the way. And, uh, hopefully this solution works because, um, I am so far loving the ergonomics of having the monitor pushed way up front instead of the C70 and having the LCD here. Also, I finally, for the first time, get to utilize this SDI port and probably get a right angle SDI and using the FX6's built-in cable management system to keep it nice and tidy. I have a music video project coming up that I will most likely DP and I wanna figure out the monitoring system that we're gonna be using and I think this is the solution. Normally I would wire my Hollyland into a external monitor, but then you have to keep the monitor powered, you have to keep the receiver powered and you have to have an HDMI connection. It just becomes a little um, too much to manage in my opinion when there's options like having a direct to iPad feature. So using the Hollyland app, we do not need a receiver. The receiver is built in over Wi-Fi. We're transmitting from here through HDMI. That way my SDI will still be allocated for my five inch monitor. And we have a beautiful, large, I think 10 inch, 11 inch iPad uh, that the entire rest of the production crew can watch. So ideally we'll have this on a light stand with a case around it 
and just one battery. I like the simplicity on this one. I think it'll, it's gonna work. So for my ENG style monitor setup, I need about two inches of 15 mil rod. Now I could buy it or I could cut my own. I've been spending a lot of money on accessories and I think a two inch setup is $20 for some reason. So we're just gonna cut the one that I have and that way I can measure it and get it to the exact measurement that I need for my setup. I'm gonna do a full breakdown on this in my next video when all of my gear comes in. But for the time being, we have a 15 mil rod holder here. In there is the 15 mil rod that I cut. And then I have a NATO rail coming out, which the monitor will attach to here and pivot off of another little piece that's coming in so i'll break this all down in the next one but so far my adult legos are getting closer and closer to completion it's a couple days later testing out my gimbal again uh, i did it with the 18 to 35 which i had problems with it's balancing fine no issues I tried the 85 mil on there, it's fine, no, no issues. So I'm not sure what the problem was. It seems to have fixed itself, um, but I just gotta keep an eye on that. Also, picked up a few more items for the FX6. I really have been wanting these Core Neos um, because they have time remaining and battery percentage. I don't have to go off of four LED lights. This is much more precise. And um, it came with a bundle uh, this is called a mini charger. For me, this is huge, but it can charge two V-mounts at the same time. So this is what I'm going to be running the camera off of, not the internal battery, Sony battery. It'll, everything will be off this, and I will need a cage to hold this, which should be coming soon. Walking out front of the apartment, I have a drone project coming up, so I need to blow the dust off of this thing and make sure everything works. I uh, just redid the, updated the firmware, uh, put some new batteries in it, um, but they're not holding a charge. So that should be full, but it's at like 75%. So I'm just gonna do a run through and make sure all this works. I'm always a fan of preparing for my shoots. It's usually revealing problems or issues that you can address now when you're not under stress. So I see here, I bring it up and the horizon is wildly off. So just bring it back down, do an auto calibration and uh, it looks like it's good to go. But I would recommend doing, you know, pre-shoot checks, experiments, anything that you can do to ensure success, to increase success on the day of the shoot you know, why not take the extra time to do it before? It, it usually pays off in dividends. And if it doesn't, then you already know everything was gonna go right. And you can just lean on, on your thought processes that day instead of problem solving, because you're gonna have problems regardless and you don't want them to be your equipment. You'd rather it be something on the client's end that you can look straight at and put your attention towards so this looks great um mavic 2 pro i got it a couple years ago and it's holding up fantastic and uh i'm gonna be using it this week and not surprisingly i shoot in uh rec 709 i haven't really mastered d-log yet happy to report i do not need to buy another two thousand dollar drone package that's good it's been a slow week especially with the holidays and new years this week, I only have, uh, I think, one job coming up. However, on Monday, what originally stemmed as meeting uh, someone who watched the vlog for coffee has kind of turned into more of a, almost like a local Orlando networking event. I think there's gonna be five people that I invited in total. Um, so, just gonna talk about, you know, what you guys do, what I do, uh, over some coffee and breakfast and maybe how we can utilize each other and make money off each other, collaborate with each other, whatever it is. Um, but I think it's good to, to have a little, little group who knows each other. And then I bought a, got a bunch of gear coming in. So once all that comes in, I'm going to do a, an entire FX6 breakdown because I, I think I have it exactly how I want. So that video is coming next. I'll see you guys in the next one.